Every year, the first week of March brings Australians together to join in Clean Up Australia Day. Since 1989, the simple activity of cleaning local neighbourhoods has now become Australia's largest community-based environmental event. All across the country, local schools, organisations and ethnic groups enthusiastically volunteer in the clean-up activity. Men and women, young and old, put on their gloves and grab rubbish bags with one motive. Let's clean up Australia. By the grace of Almighty Allah, over 1,100 Ahmadi Muslims have registered to volunteer and preserve their local parks, sporting fields and roadways. I think the Holy Prophet also taught us cleanliness is a part of our faith. So when we are doing it, we are very proud of it. And uh, we invited our neighbours. And I think this Clean Up Australia should be celebrated every day and every home by every individual. And this year, by the grace of Allah, we've expanded our efforts nationally to 26 sites and locally in Sydney to nine sites. Uh, the new sites which have been added in Sydney are the uh, site at Darling Harbour City. Jamaat Ahmadiyya Australia, like previous years, took part in this year's Clean Up Australia Day in all major states of the country. Masjid Baitul Huda Sydney, Masjid Baitul Salam Melbourne, Masjid Baitul Masroor Queensland and Masjid Mahmood South Australia all hosted the Clean Up Australia Day events as well. I'm here at the Woodcroft site today in South Australia and Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, it's a beautiful day and the attendance rate of community members is very high. Members are taking part in four sites distributed throughout South Australia. Men, however, are cleaning up two suburban areas of Adelaide West and South. MPs and councillors commended the continuous effort of community members who partake in this event annually. The total attendance of the event was over 200 and all sites were ended with a barbecue for lunch. Alhamdulillah, the event was a great success. Now we'll take you to Melbourne where Subhan Tanoli will be reporting. Thanks, Tala. And the Muslim Association Victoria has been taking part in Australia Cleanup Day for a number of years now. Each year, these numbers have just grown. And Alhamdulillah, this year, we had a total of five sites in Victoria, where a total of massive 200 people volunteered for this event. Now taking over to Brisbane, where Nassar Saab will run you through the Brisbane sites. Uh, thank you, Melbourne. In Queensland here, we've got four cleanup sites this year. One is around this mosque site on Stockley Road. One is on Middle Road in Logan, and uh, the third side is New Farm Park in Brisbane. And Lejna, of course, also doing their part cleaning up inside this mosque complex. Now we have a short uh, vote of thanks from Councillor Phil Pigeon. I'm standing at the side of Stockley Road and Mount Lindsay Highway. I just wanted to give you all a very, very heartfelt thank you. I really appreciate the efforts that you all put in for this Clean Up Australia Day. It really, really does make a difference to our community. And I've never been more uh, overjoyed than to be driving around the streets this morning and visiting many of you and just saying thanks personally. Thank you and we'll head to Sydney. With Clean Up Australia Day activities complete, Jamaat Amadi Australia has hosted several barbecues for all those who participated in this day. May Allah help us expand our efforts to serve our country. Munibur Mansanori, MTA International, Australia Studios.